We're continuing to learn about uh, cool methods for iterator, iterators and closures, which uh, you do all the time in Rust. So uh, we're going to uh, look at those. And the next one that I like is, uh, this is called chart indices. And it's basically the same as enumerate, except for uh, it gives you the result of, uh, of chars. And if you remember chars, let's just uh, take a look at that in case you uh, might have missed it before. So let's say, uh, hello there, dot chars. And uh, what will this print out? Well, it turns this into uh, an H comma E comma L. And you can see, uh, you know, it's inside this chars. We haven't, you know, we can collect it, uh, collect into a string, for example, if we want. But, you know, it, this, uh, this printout is still, you know, good enough for us. I think my brackets are off. Let's try that again. There you go. So we have taken this hello there, turned it into chars, and then back into a string. So char indices, and uh, indices means indexes, is the same as enumerate. So it'll give you like a uh, 0h like that. And then it'll give you uh, a one and then uh, an E. And then, you know, you can do fun stuff with that. And here is, uh, where's the example I have for that? So let's, uh, let's imagine that we have this big, uh, this big string of, of numbers. We'll call it numbers together. And uh, you can see this big string. And what we would like to do is uh, put little, put spaces between them. So we want to, uh, Imagine it's like a phone number or something, and we want space here, space here, space here. And how are we going to do that? And one, one way we can do that is with uh, chart indices. So let's do that. Uh, let's say, um, let's, um, let's see. What we do is numbers together. And then um, chart indices. And this will, uh, this, so that'll, that's all you need because this uh, chart indices by itself is an iterator. So we don't need to say iter or anything like that. And it's the same as chars, which also makes an iterator of chars. So we have that and then for each. And then uh, what are we going to do? Well, it gives us a tuple. Um, so the tuple, we'll call it, uh, we'll call it index and number. So, you know, we can call it whatever we want. And then we're going to, um, you know, you can say, you can write that, you know, we're making our own names here. So match, uh, we're going to index uh, modulo three and number. And, you know, modulo three, will that'll let us uh, do things every, every three times. So we'll say if it is uh, zero or one, then, uh, then we are going to, let's see, along with number. And we're going to say uh, print, not print line, and we'll print the number like that. And uh, otherwise, we are going to just, uh, we're going to print the number and then put a tab in there or a space, but uh, tab is kind of fun sometimes. So I think that should do it. Let's see if it works. And do, 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 that's right, I forgot to put in the number. And then you can see we have uh, we have them nicely separated. And if I change this to uh, to two, then um, it's not even going to reach here because it'll go zero, one, two, zero, one, two. And uh, you know, it won't even uh, add any tabs. So that's the way to do it. So that is, um, one of those methods I like. And uh, the last thing to, uh, to finish out this video is I just wanted to show you what happens when you, uh, when you have a closure, but you don't want to use it. And uh, this is a simple example, but uh, you might see this sometimes. Let's imagine that we are, let's say we want to print something. And what are we going to print? Uh, Let's say we have my vec and we're going to make it into an iterator. And then for each, 
So for each, and let's say we don't want to use it, we, we don't care. We're going to ignore what we get and say, uh, let print whatever. We're not doing anything with these numbers. And then what you would like to do is, uh, you know, do that, ignore everything and just, uh, you know, who cares about what we're getting in the for each. And uh, Rust is interestingly not okay with this. It says, closure is expected to take one argument, but it takes zero arguments. And then, okay, I don't know, can we just uh, call it n? And we can, but then uh, that's going to say, hey, you're not using n, so what, what can you do? You know, it's not an error, but it's kind of, kind of feels silly to, to give it a name when you're not going to use it, so you do this. And actually, if you take that out, um, I didn't scroll to the bottom here, but if you go over here, you can say uh, you can see that Rust is uh, actually telling you what you can do. So why don't you take and ignore the argument? So it says uh, you know take it in, don't give it a name because we're not doing anything with it. So that will fix everything, and that is why you see this uh, this syntax a lot in uh, enclosures. So if you see that, it's uh, it looks funny, but it just means uh, we're taking in the the thing that the closure gives us and we're ignoring it for whatever reason.